good morning, very early morning here at Luton. Well, I'm in the Ibis Hotel at Luton Airport. Yesterday I spent a day checking out what could potentially be the future Universal Studios theme park in Bedford. So those videos are up if you're interested in theme parks, adventures and stuff like that, which is what I do. But today's video is going to be probably a short video, but be my flight experience, my travel experience, flying with EasyJet back from, sorry, from Luton Airport back to Glasgow Airport, which is a short flight, it was 55 minutes to come down. But yeah, this is, this is my day, this is what I'm going to be doing, so come and join me today as I fly from Luton Airport to Glasgow, and just now I'm going to leave the Ibis Hotel, walk over to the airport, don't have to check in any bags, I've only got a backpack, and I'm going to go through security and all that jazz. So yeah, that's some planes taking off, and I'll be soon myself. So come and join me today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's leave the room. Head to the airport. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers. So this is where I have. Slept last night. It's not a long walk, there's one path closed. But I was walking over yesterday to get into the hotel, but I'm gonna walk now over to Luton Airport. Which isn't a long walk. This is part of kind of Luton Airport hotel really. Uh, right in amongst the other hotels of Holiday Inn Express and whatnot. Holiday Inn, they've got what we've got Ibis budget as well. And a few others. It's really busy. This road is really busy to try to get in here. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in regards to how busy it is of cars trying to get in and out of this airport. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. It's very hard to show, but just a constant flow of cars. This is nothing but you see here. But I've got a little walk and you go through the tunnel. Under the tunnel, there's the private jets that we seen yesterday. All up there, they're awesome. And that's the reason you can't walk that side. That's the side I went yesterday. This is another going up this way. Just a stream of people, loads and loads of people. Never seen anything like it. Never. And what's that? Maybe. Between five and ten minutes later, we've arrived at the front of Luton Airport. Here are the shuttles. One of the shuttles I got yesterday takes you to the car hire place. If you want to see that video, you can see how I done that. Yeah, let's get into the, the airport. Now I'm going to go in. Like I said, I don't need to check in any bags, I just need to go straight, I've got my boarding pass on my phone. So I'm going to go in, go through security, and I will see you all on the other side of security. Let's get inside. security, very very good security, very slick, very quick. Now I can chill before the fight. Well, well, well. Get some Harry Potter stuff. Very expensive. Harry Potter stuff, I think. If you're wondering why I'm looking at stuff, I like Harry Potter. I love all things Universal Studios, Disney World. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's expensive. A couple of pencils for £12 for some pencils. Wow. Hmm, I think I need some sunglasses. What do you think? 
Well, I get some new sunglasses to go to Glasgow. So my gate hasn't been announced yet. So I'm just going to walk around, check out some gates, look at some planes that I usually wouldn't really see, I don't think. So that's the plan. I'm going to go walk around some gates, check out some planes. I have never seen a Wizz airline up front. A Wizz Air. There's two of them here, or three of them here, sorry. Yeah, one, two, three. I'm not sure where that one is from this side. But they look cool. It's all happening on this side, so I was on the far end a moment ago. We've got another whiz there just coming in, coming in, arriving. Very busy, very, very busy airport. Let's watch this one park up. The easy jet seems to be based way back over the other end. <laughs> There's one reversing out, backing up just now. I'm just walking around just now. It is still another maybe half an hour until my gate is called. I'm not going to get any food or coffee. I'm going to wait until I get home. It's only a 55 minute flight. I'll get something to eat when I go home. Well, maybe I'll have to get something to eat. My flight has been delayed from 8.50 to 9.30. One, <laughs> to be exact. So, doesn't mind I'm a ball really. But, yeah, that's a good 40 minute delay. There's so many Wizz airplanes just turned up at once. So, in the Lego store. Oh, I'm missing the castle. I am missing the castle. Look at the 50 year Disney Lego castle. Oh, I'm missing. I need to get back. What do you think? Should I get back to Walt Disney World soon? Or Disney soon? You've got Moana and Merida. <laughs> These are cool. We'll be one and Darth Vader side by side. <laughs> this is cool. Oh my days, Gringotts, Wizarding Bank. Look at that. That is uh, awesome. Look at that. That's amazing. The cool £333. There's the big 100 year castle. By Disney, 310. Yeah, I'm gonna get some food. A little bit of a wait now. Chicken Caesar wrap. Water. I think they've just been put in, they're not very cold. Let's try and find some other ones. Maybe? Nope. Feel warm. This one's a bit cold. Well, that one is colder. Just more expensive. Tactics. It must be tactics. To make you spend more. Oh, wait, it's there. Official Glasgow. Delayed. It's on the board. It's official. Walk down to the EasyJet section where all the EasyJet planes seem to be. 
the hub, the EasyJet hub. Uh, there's a lot of whiz planes, a lot of whiz air, a lot of whiz everywhere. Uh, but yeah, I am seeing another delay for my flight, so I'm going to go check that out. Don't know what's going on. So my app, the EasyJet app is now saying departure is going to be quarter past 11 now. And what is the board saying? Let's have a look at the board. That's still saying the gate's going to show at 9.40 now and estimated 10.40. Is that the, the gate? 10.40 now? Oh, that's going to be a long day. I'm going to find a seat just for now. It's very quiet down this section. Now it is a bank holiday. This is a bank holiday Monday, so I am presuming that's why it's been really busy. I am going to just find a seat. About the same level as the, the planes. As you can see, there's an, an easy jet flight there. That's not delayed by the sounds of it, by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little seat here. But it's nice and quiet. Have some food and uh, just relax. Yeah, I'll still get home in a good time. That's if the flight doesn't get cancelled. Yeah, we don't want that. That was the Edinburgh flight that just boarded. Probably work out cheaper for me or quicker, not cheaper, but quicker. <laughs> Getting on that one, probably. But I can't, my car is parked at Glasgow Airport. Might as well just sit and relax, nothing else I can do about it. Delayed again. Another update. Twelve forty-three is now the new date. Date time. Uh, I could have had a long lie this morning. I could have relaxed. But here we are. Delayed again. Third delay so far. Supposed to leave at eight fifty. Now estimated twelve forty-three. So, yeah, we'll just need to see how it goes. Could be one of these days. Could be one of these days. Another update, literally five minutes later, they have some good news. They have shortened the delay, they have said. So it's now 11.23, which is a lot better than 12.43. So that's some good news, thankfully. Hopefully that's it. If they've managed to bring that back, hopefully that means something. So, fingers crossed. And uh, luckily it's just a short flight when the flight happens anyway. It's not like it's uh, going to Orlando or anything like that. We've seen those videos where I've had delays of five hours and stuff. Oh, yeah. So that's the, that's the latest. And I'm still here. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a longer video than we all thought. And a longer day than I thought anyway. I'm going to go for another walk around. Just to keep myself going. It's really difficult to sit around. Uh, put some waste, put my bin. There we go, in the bin. But it's really quiet just now. So, so quiet. I love the vending machines. Ben and Jerry's can get ice cream, Pringles, and even the Trumps, top Trumps. A top Trumps vending machine. Oh, the Disney. I am tempted. I am tempted. How much are they? What's that one? 101. £1.01. £9.45. Top Trump's specials. The Star Wars one. That's a quiz, a Disney quiz. Yeah, I might get it later on. If it's not theme parks, I'll go for walks, keep me fit. 
It's airport. <laughs> Walking around. Do you think? Don't worry, I'm not gonna buy them. If you've seen my Orlando videos, you'll know why. They're nice though. Uh, probably got a nice price. Let's have a look, try and balance the camera. Yeah, £145 for glasses. They're going straight back. So this is the latest, coming up for 10am and it's showing the gate, will show it 20 past 10 so if I get a gate number that's going to be a good sign. Not been too bad of a delay really, it would have been worse if it was a 12.43 but hopefully this is a good sign. It has went past the gate announcement, no gate announced yet but on the app you can track, on the EasyJet app that is your live tracking, so this will be my plane coming in from Glasgow. I have at Luton, and that'll be the one I'll be getting hopefully to get home. It's saying it's three minutes from landing, and we have a gate number, gate number two, where I was earlier on. Let's head on down. Gate 2. If this goes ahead, then all has been redeemed. <sighs> Trying to download my boarding pass and it says there it has flown off. I cannot generate boarding pass. Well, it's not. I can tell you that it hasn't. Good morning and welcome aboard your Eastjet flight shortly to Martin to Glasgow. Must be placed under the seat in front of you. Sorry mate. This is with the exception of those 113 which is our front door emergency exit rules. All bags jackets on site and we can place them to the overhead locker. after 7 this morning and we had a problem starting one of the engines on a different aeroplane uh, so we had to wait and find another one which we did find this one and uh, that's why we're a couple of hours or more behind now so as always uh, safety first so we're going to go fly with an aeroplane with an engine issue and uh, that's the delay my apologies for that
shortly after that for the northeasterly facing runway in Glasgow. Uh, expect heavy on the ground right about 25 to 1, uh, which gives us just over half an hour left. But, uh, once we're on the ground, just a short taxi in, so hopefully have you parked in one stand just a few minutes after that, uh, which is going to be right about uh, two and a half hours uh, behind the schedule. So once again, apologies for that. I do hope it doesn't uh, impact our onward plans too greatly. Uh, weather in Glasgow this, uh, this afternoon is not too distant. There's a warm weather behind it. walking down this section but in the opposite direction right I'm gonna to get to the car and see how much extra I need to pay shouldn't be much hopefully if anything maybe wishful thinking but yeah let's get to the car and we can close out the video of what's been a little eventful day to my ears, nothing extra to pay. It's really busy. Oh, wait. I nearly forgot where I parked the car. It's been one of those days. We're safe, I have found my car. I did not really forget. Back in the car, home sweet home. It's been a really, really busy the uh, last two days and yeah been non-stop if you've seen those videos and today's delay is it anything major not really two and a half hours it can affect folk uh, with onward travel uh, but for me personally it was fine it's okay it doesn't affect me greatly i have been there before with delays if you've seen videos of me in the past but yeah i've all in all i've really enjoyed um, my trip and seeing what could be potentially the future Universal Studios theme park. If you haven't seen the videos, I'll link it down below. I travelled down to uh, Luton, to went to Bedford to see what could possibly be in the future. So I'm just documenting 
uh, the early stages of that theme park. So potential theme park, and I cannot wait if that if it goes ahead. So I will do like a vlog, a series of vlogs and videos over the. Oh, what is that? Got attacked by a fly. Two minutes. Yeah, don't know what was going on there. <laughs> I, but yeah, I've really enjoyed my time, my trip down, so hopefully you've enjoyed the, the videos as well. So, I do a lot of content, theme parks, adventures, fun fairs, things like that, uh, attractions. And I've got more coming uh, this, this year. I've got a lot more flights to take, I've got a lot more things to do. I'm going to Disneyland and all these things coming up. Uh, so yeah, hit subscribe if you want to support myself, support the channel and uh, social media links down below as well, so yeah, that's it. Was going to be a short video, maybe longer than it was probably going to be. Never done quite a lot of talking on the plane, but it's a very, very short flight. There's not really much to talk about. I've shown a few things, hopefully, and uh, hopefully you, you enjoyed it. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you're well, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.